Have you been dreaming of getting away? Well, we know a place that will recharge your spirit. WA, Western Australia, a land where adventure awaits. Otherworldly adventures, ancient adventures, majestic, unfiltered adventures. Here in Western Australia, you can get away from the crowds, go beyond the expected and take the road less travelled. <laughs> There's plenty to choose from. Watch the sun melt into the water while strolling along a picture-perfect beach on the back of a camel. Get a fresh perspective on life, 40 metres up in the canopy of an ancient forest. Give your taste buds a holiday, sampling the best local produce in the Margaret River wine region. Or maybe it's time you just got outside and went for a swim with these gentle giants. Go on, turn waiting into planning. Western Australia. Adventure awaits. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hi. Very good evening to everybody. Warm welcome to Chan Brothers Travel Live. And today, I'm um, will be your host for tonight. My name is Tervin and... I'm Eva Ang, the Country Manager for Tourism Western Australia. So thank you, Chan Brothers Travel, for having me today. Yes, I know, Eva, you have prepared a long list of a, a presentation to share with us everything about Western Australia. And before that, let me share with everyone. Tonight, our program will be last about 45 minutes. We have eight lobsters to give away. That's right, eight lobster, eight whole lobsters to give away for all the viewers joining us from the comfort of your home. How to win it? We have three categories to win the lobster. First two lobsters are going to give away for a like and click, uh, like and share button. You get an entitled for to actually win the prize. So the next category we we'll go along with will be the contest. There will be two questions to ask along the way, and each question, the answer will give away. The winner will be three winners together, right? That's right. Each session will be three winners, and at the end of the session, the best will be the grand prize. The grand prize will come with five days proof. Wow, seafood experience for two person worth $3,500. So, Tarit, how do you win the main prize? Very easy. From now onwards, you see the quote card sign just like this. This is not counted. You have to count how many times the quote cards appear along the way. So, at the end of the session, the second question will come along with that. That will be the answer for the total for the grand to win the rent prize. Let me repeat the grand prize is actually five days proof and wow, seafood experience for two person worth $3,500, uh, $3, includes return air tickets, four nights hotel accommodation, as well as a trip to Rottnest Island, catch a cab, dine, and civil cruise. So, Tarvin, I believe uh, we have the poll uh, uh, response. The there was one question asked during the video. So have, the question was, have you been to Western Australia Perth? So I'm very, very happy with the answer. So 62% of you answered yes, while 38% of you say no. Wow, we have a lot to share tonight. So so you're all in the right place. We're going to share with you what's new in Western Australia and why you should consider to travel to Western Australia when travel resumes. Good. Eva, so start with uh, um, what you're going to share with us tonight will be start from Western Australia. Perth, is that right? That's right. So um, we will be taking you across an adventure across Western Australia, the capital of cool, and I'll be sharing all this in three main topics. So the first one is all about Western Australia, followed by nature and wildlife and food and drinks. Wow. So, Eva, what makes you think about we have to travel to Western Australia? So, first of all, the nearest Western country from Singapore is Western Australia, only five hours flight away. Mm. Many people consider Australia to be a mid to long haul flight, but Western Australia is actually a short haul destination. It shares the same time zone as Singapore. And so it's suitable for, um, you know, if you want to travel with your family, your kids or old folks, so no problem on the time difference. Also, the strong sing dollar is uh, very good for us when we go shopping. So it means you can stretch your dollar yeah. further. You can do a lot of shopping in Australia. Yeah. So Tarin, how many times have you been to WA? Only twice, uh, more focusing based on Perth itself. Okay, so very good. Did you know that there are five regions in Western Australia? Oh, there's total five, right? Yeah, and not only that, Western Australia is actually the largest state in Australia. It is about a third of the whole of Australia. And here's a trivia for you. WA's population is less than half 
of Singaporeans at 2.6 million, but it is 3,700 times bigger. Wow, there are no social distance at all. Yep, so it has a lot of space, <laughs> it is close to nature, and you have no issues to social distance. So um, we have Destination Perth, Australia Southwest, Australia Northwest, Australia Coral Coast, and Australian Golden Outback. So Tervin, can you see this picture right now? Wow, it's very colourful. It's just like visiting the whole Australia. No? No, so when you look at this photo, it may show that you have visited many, many destinations. Mm. However, all these photos are taken in Western Australia. Can you believe it? Yeah, and I see some familiar places like the uh, Pinnacles. I remember my last trip. That's right. Mm. So, yeah. So, Singaporeans like to shop, you know. When we travel to Australia, we would like to shop and, and this will be great. Um, and... And my friend always shared with me, to yeah. travel to Perth is boring. Ah, so I'm glad you asked that because why I'm here today is to change the misconception and bust uh, the, the myth that WA is boring. So WA used to be a mining city. Mm. However, in the last few years, the government has um, does a lot, have done a lot of investment to transform WA into where it is, you see. So Perth has gone through a rebirth and went through recent developments. There are new presents such as Elizabeth Key, where you can see in the photo now. I call this a Perth rendition like our Marina Bay Sands. Uh -huh. <laughs> Followed by the Burstwood Pristing, uh, at uh, where the Crown Casino is. Uh -huh. Yegan Square, where the new shopping capital is at. So shopping is a must for Singaporeans. So I used to shop in Australia because of the currency. And now I know Perth itself, there's a lot more to shop. And maybe you can share with us more. That's right. So it is undeniable that shopping is Singaporeans' number one mm -hmm. spot. Yes. So here are some insider tips, top four destination. So the first one is Westfield Carousel. It is known as the one-stop shop all. Why? Because under one roof, it has Mayer, Target, Kmart, Coles and Woolworths all under one roof. Mm -hmm. But if you love local brand outlet, head on to Watertown Brand Outlet Center. It's only 10 minutes walk away from Northbridge where the Perth Chinatown is located or explore the newly opened DFO near the Perth Airport. Or if you like the good old classic um, shopping at Hay Street, which is similar to our Orchard Road in Singapore. Right. So how about um, um, Perth attraction? You know, nowadays, young people, they like yeah. to take pictures. And now not only simple picture, you have to post up to the Instagram. I believe there are new places to actually visit and take a lot of nice picture. Yeah, that's right. So lately, there's a lot of uh, all the Instagrammers, they like to post photos of their Instagram um, hotspots. Mm -hmm. So Perth has gone through a renaissance and is now a magnet for hipsters with many Insta-worthy hotspots. So you might wonder, how much are the attraction tickets? Guess how much, Tawin? I think about $20 per entry. Well, very close, but you're wrong mm -hmm. because all these attractions are free to enter. You don't have to pay any uh, attraction That's fees. Great. They are free to visit, such as what you can see now, the rainbow container near Fremantle. Those are the real container. The size is big, right? That's right. Wow. It's, it's amazing. It's a great, great photo op, followed by the Blue Boat Shed where you know it became oh, famous I remember this one yeah so oh okay. yeah a lot of uh, wedding couples love to take their <laughs> po uh, photos you know followed by spanda and elizabeth key yeah and my favorite the wolf lane so many visitors like to explore on their own but the best way to see all of this is via a guided tour so let's watch this video by two feet and a heartbeat not away Perth City is a beautiful place. It's got natural environment all around it with the Swan River and Kings Park. It's easy to explore. It's full of interesting places and interesting stories. It's been enormous infrastructure developments like Elizabeth Quay and railway stations being put underground and redeveloped museums. Great places to eat and drink and to socialize. We have a, a large variety of walking tours and they cover history and food and beverage and culture and art. We could have a fromage tour that's a nice way to go and visit a few restaurants with a bit of food and drink along the way or even explore some interesting places in the city for street art. Many of our clients are from Perth and after a tour they all unanimously agree that they had underappreciated how beautiful the city was and they can't wait to spend more time here. What people discover on our walking tours are the stories that aren't present at street level. All of our guides are local. They've spent most of their lives here in Perth. They're passionate and knowledgeable, great personalities and excellent storytellers. You should definitely join a two feet and a heartbeat tour. We have a theme of a tour for everybody. Come and join us one day.
Hello, welcome back. Welcome back. For those who just join us, yes. remember to like and share. And the more you like and share, you're entitled for two lobster to win away at the end of the session. But with now, we are going into a second session with the quiz. And Eva will be going to share with us one question. You will be able to answer the question. There are three winners for these questions. So the question will be... So how long is the flight duration from Singapore to Perth? I repeat, how long is the flight duration from Singapore to Perth? So for those that answer and get this right, you stand a chance to win a whole lobster for three lucky winners. Yes. We count based on one minute start from now. Well, the answer is very simple, right? From the very beginning, we already shared how long you need to take to fly from Singapore to Perth. That's right. It's very, very... Remember, um, in the past, many travellers considered Western Australia as a long-haul uh, destination. Long destination, but Perth is actually considered a short-haul destination. Only... Just... Help, <laughs> help guess. Just... Only a oh, few I see hours some away. of the answer came in. Okay. Okay. The more good. you put in, the more higher chances you get it. Three lobster to give away this round. Yes, yeah, very very simple question. You stay tuned with us. And now we have 18 seconds, 16. So remember, guys, Western Australia is considered a short haul destination. It is not a long haul destination. And we're very, very waiting to, to have a circuit breaker to be open up. You can fly anytime to Perth. Yep. <laughs> Three, two, one. Yes. All right. Let's wait for the winners. So and we have a lot of uh, contestants who have submitted their answers. We are waiting for our admin to um, let yes. us know who are the winners. Yes. While waiting, just a reminder. Remember, go through those who join us as well. When you see the uh, icon or the coca sign, remember that is the first question or to entitle for the grand draw. So okay. now we are talking about the last quiz that winners. The answer is five hours. First winner is Veronica Lim. Veronica Lim, congratulations. You won yourself a lobster and we have two more winners to go. Yeah, congratulations, Veronica. Now we have two more winners. Yeah. Who, who's going to be lucky winner tonight? Whoever is lucky, we will send the lobster all the way to your home. So the, the, next, the next winner is Priscilla Ku. Priscilla Ku. Priscilla Ku. One more lobster to go. So the answer is too, too simple, right? Yeah. Five, five hours. hours. What is five hours? Ah. The last winner is Cat Mo. Cat Mo, congratulations again. So congratulations to all our three winners. Thank you. Now we talk about shopping, everything just now. Now we, we know about nature. In Australia, nature is actually one of the parts that we can visit a lot of places. In Western Australia, how about nature in Western Australia you can share with us? So you're right, Tori. In the last few months, all of us has been uh, keeping safe behind four walls. Mm. But when travel resumes, our research has shown that holiday makers will look at the teams of nature, healing, and outdoor compared to cities. Mm. Therefore, Western Australia is the ideal destination to put on your travel lease as we have Kings Park. Kings Park. So, Kings Park is the biggest city park in the world. Do you know that it is larger than New York Central oh, Park? Oh, the best part is actually it's still free of charge, right? It's actually oh. just inside the city. Definitely. And the best way to see Kings Park is actually via the Segway Tours. Mm. So, as long as you are lazy to walk, you can balance yourself. You just go for this tour, well, right? Well, this is my personal photo <laughs> when I visited uh, Segway well, Tour where Kings Park. So, it's so easy. You just hop on. You know, it's a guided tour. You just follow them on. And then you don't feel tired and you still have energy yeah. to go shopping after. Mm. Followed by Coddle Slow, which is famous for its shining beach with white sand and blue waters, making it one of Western Australia's most popular beaches. Right now, it is surrounded by the best cafes, restaurants, and same for Rottnest Island. Rottnest Island. Tervin, look at the beautiful turquoise water. Don't you feel that it's paradise? What I understand is not too far away from Perth and we can do a day trip for this island, right? That's right, Tervin. Rottnest Island is less than 30 minutes uh, on a ferry ride from mm -hmm. Fremantle. Now, the Pinnacles is known for its beautiful yellow hue and natural limestone. Now, any Star Wars fans out here who has joined us today, you can take a selfie and tell your friends that you have visited Planet Tatooine. <laughs> Are you a Star Wars fan? Um, not really, but look at the screen <laughs> over here. You have a night view in the Pinnacles. That's right. So this is the night view of the Pinnacles where we have a new tour. Mm. We stargazing at Pinnacles. 
there's a so you can have your dinner there and then you can have um, the stargazing. I think you have a high chance to see a Milky Way in the, in the evening, right? Yeah, yes, definitely. Okay. But the latest draw card for WA is the Pink Lake at Hart Lagoon at Port Gregory. It is an iconic site along the Coral Coast Highway, known for its bright pink hue that contrasts with a deep blue ocean. <laughs> Tobin, do you know where we got the pink color? I only know this lake actually is a salt lake and I don't know why the color is a pink color. That's right, Tervin. So the pink lake is actually a salt lake and the hue is caused by microscopic algae which reacts with the temperature. So look at this, so beautiful, right? It's like cotton candy. And I also know nowadays no need for you to just drive over there and then there's a flight to actually take over to all the way to the lagoon. That's right. There's two ways for you to explore Pink Lake. One is by a you know, road trip. You can yeah. just drive along the Coral Coast Highway, make a pit stop. Or the best way to see the Pink Lake is actually via the scenic flight. Now, next, let's go to the Kalbari Skywalk. Do you know where this is? Um... um America? <laughs> Very funny. Now, a lot of you might think that this is the Grand Canyon, but this is actually the Kalbari Nature Park, Nature's Window. Now, the Kalbari Skywalk is a newly opened observation deck suspended right on the clifftop with 100 meters high lookout. Let's watch a video of the Kalbari Skywalk. we have the Valley of the Giants. Whoa. It is located at the southwest of Western Australia, home to the iconic treetop walk. The world's famous treetop walk is suspended 40 meters high up in the canopy of the ancient Tingle Forest. Tervin, have you been to a place like this before? I only did once in Singapore, which is a very small one. You know where's the place? McRitchie? <laughs> yes. Now, I mean, I'm sure McRitchie is a very beautiful height, but nothing beats being at the Valley of the Giants when you walk across all these ancient, ancient trees, which is 100, over 100 years old. So the, following that, we'll talk about the gap at Albany. Albany. Yeah. So have you been to Albany before? I remember last time you have to travel all the way to Albany. Yes, you managed to see the, uh, the sea, meet yeah. the sea. But over here, you can see actually closer to the sea with the skywalk or the bridge itself, right? Yeah. So this observation deck is ah. called the Gap. So visitors that go to the Gap can venture on a new accessible viewing platform, also 40 meters directly above the surging seas, overlooking outstanding views of the Southern Ocean. So if you want to get up close and personal to the Southern Ocean, head on to the Gap. However, Tervin, do you know that um, there's a, um, Australia's most popular fish and chips at Albany? Tell me, tell me. It's called the Hook. So the last time I was there, I actually went there for the fish and chips. So next time I need to go and check out the Gap. <laughs> so, oh, flowers. Yeah, so Tervin, what you're looking at right now is the wildflowers. Which garden is this? No, it's not a garden. It's not at the botanical garden. Uh -huh. It is not man-made. All these are nat nat natural. It is called uh, the wildflower. So typically in Western Australia, we have the wildflower season. It begins in north in June and July. And then it continues to bloom further mm. down south, including in the wheat belt and the Perth region from August and September and slightly later in the southern regions. So these are all nature, very beautiful. 
Next. I, okay, <laughs> I know wildlife in Australia actually is actually well known, but anything very uniquely about Western Australia about wildlife? I see one picture over here is the kangaroo like sun tanning on the beach. Yeah, I'm glad you asked, Tervin. <laughs> so Lucky Bay is an incredible five kilometer stretch of long white sandy beach just near Esperance. So frequently it is inhabited by kangaroos looking at to cool off by the beach. Mm. So if you're there, don't be surprised if you have a kangaroo coming to you to make friends. So if I need to get closer to them, oh, you have a park that actually cater for that. That's right. Let's move on to the Cavisham Wildlife Park. Now, the, have you been to Cavisham Wildlife yes, Park? Yes, I've been once. And actually, this is the place that you can actually get closer to the uh, wildlife uh, on a safe distance. And um, I remember you always can cut, I mean, get closer or get pictures with the wildlife like feeding. Yes. This is always like all the feedings during the visit. That's absolutely right, Turbin. So the Cavisham Wildlife Park is a great Australian experience for the whole family. Mm. You can hand feed the kangaroos, join in the interactive farm show, touch a possum or lizard, or meet a wombat. Or you can even watch the cheeky penguin being fed. <laughs> and of course, you can get up close and personal and have photos taken with wow. the koalas. So these are my personal photos when I visited Cavisham Wildlife Park not long ago. Mm -hmm. So which are your favorite? Which is your favorite? Definitely is the kissing with the koala. Well, that's my boyfriend, so hands <laughs> off. <laughs> well, next. Wow, this is the one. Yeah, so the quokka, right? Quokka, quokka. <laughs> so the quokka is known as the world's happiest animal, only found at Rottnest Island. Yeah. Do you know why it's called the Rottnest Island? Uh, tell me more, please. So when it was first uh, found many, many years ago, mm -hmm. uh, they, the Dutchman thought that it is red. They mistaken the quokka as a red, so they call it the Redness Island. Over the years, it has evolved to what we know today, Rodness Island. Okay. So even the Hollywood celebrities such as Chris Hemsworth, Roger Federer, Margot Robbie, Hugh Jackman caught on to the world's famous quokka selfie challenge. Do you have your quokka selfie already? Not yet, but they really look very photogenic, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who, the celebrity or the quokka? Both, I guess. Bye. So, yeah. <laughs> But remember, guys, you don't have to be a superstar to get your own quokka selfie. Look at mine. Well, well, well. So this is my personal photo. I, I um, had a chance to take a photo with a quokka. And if you look at the photo on your right, you can see a um, joey. So oh. a quokka actually belongs to the marsupial family, which is the kangaroo family. So they have a little pouch that holds a baby. So in Australia, we call it the little joeys. I see. But I guess uh, when you're taking pictures with them, it's quite difficult because they're moving around. Actually, no, not really, Tervin. They are so, well, they are very lazy because over the years, they realized that many tourists would offer them, um, you know, some leaves and see, food. I so they, they're just sitting there waiting for you to come and offer them a food and take I your see. coca selfie. Yeah. So aside from furry animals, Western Australia also have marine friends who visit us daily and for Monkey Maya. That's right. So you can um, get up close and personal with the uh, dolphins at Monkey Maya as well as Rockingham. You also can swim with the dolphins. That's right. So you can also swim with the dolphins. There are many tours that's available at Rockingham. Okay. Um, also, the humpback whales from the wow. Southern Ocean up to the Kimberleys. And my personal favorite, whale shark. Swimming Whoa. with the whale shark at the Ningaloo Reef. So, Tervin, do you know that a baby whale shark is as big as a, a school bus. That's big, right? Okay, imagine oh. if they are adult size. And you are swimming next to them. Yeah, it's Whoa. amazing. <laughs> and that brings us to our next Q&A session. Yes. So remember, next Q&A session, you, uh, we have three winners for these questions. And remember to put in your answer. The more you put in, the higher the chances you get. Three lobsters to give away. What would be the question, Eva? All right. So the question is, listen carefully. Name the island where you can find the cute quokkas. I repeat. Name the island where you can find the cute quokkas. So um, One minute, start from now. Right. Again, it's a very simple answer, right? Yeah, it's so simple. Which is the island we just shown just now? Remember? That will be the answer. So, uh, what will the winners win again? Toby? Okay, we have three uh, lobster to give away. So, three winners for a lobster will send all the way to your home once you will be the winner. So, Toby, I want to ask you something. Mm. So, how will the winners, you know, what would they do with the lobster when you send it to them? Well, we have some surprise later. Okay. To deal with the lobsters. Okay. 
So you will send the lobster to their house and yes. then you have a surprise for them. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we can do that. So um, for the lobster, hmm. is it uh, something that um, you can find in Western Australia? Definitely, because lobster, actually, recently I also have a friends that always like to shop a lot of uh, uh, in Western Australia. In Australia. So seafood is actually very simple, very easy to get it from Western Australia as well. So with one more minute to go, pa, one wow, second. So many answers. So many. Wow. <laughs> and many, many right answer okay and we the have first the winner, winner is Chen Wei Tao Chen congratulations Wei Tao. congratulations one lobster go we have two more to go two more lobsters okay keep putting your answers guys you, you are still in the running to win well I wish I can get one more lobster <laughs> so anybody who just put the answer they send a chance to win but it's not first come first yes, serve, correct? yes. we have okay. second winner over here Vivian Lim Vivian Lim congratulations Vivian Wow. <laughs> Too and simple, then, right? The answer is yeah. just... So, after they win the, the... Do they have any more prizes to win after this? Yes. Not forgetting, after these three winners, we still have two more lobsters to give away when you do more like and uh, like and share, like and share. All right. Last the winner, Joey Sung. Joey Sung. So congratulations, congratulations to all our three winners. Okay, for those who just joined us, remember the three winners just gone away with all the lobsters. We have two more to go. Remember to like and share and two more lobsters to go away later. And also stay tuned with us until the end. We have the grand prize to go. Now, Seafood in Australia is pretty important. And what else is actually can we can we get lobster or can we get seafood in Western Australia? What do you suggest? So remember earlier I said shopping is Singapore's number one spot. Mm -hmm. Then eating must be Singapore's number one hobby, Definitely. especially fresh seafood. So I want to show uh, you one of my personal photos when I went on a cruise mm -hmm. at Mandura not too long ago. Wow. So this is a very interesting cruise. It's only three hours. Um, you get to catch your own lobster and then they'll cook it for you and then you cruise around while catch all the wild dolphins. Now, if you love going on a cruise and eat seafood, why not combine both in one? Watch this video of the wild seafood experience. Coca! <laughs> travel to Western Australia to experience the wild seafood experience now, we have a surprise for you. Cooking time! Why are we cooking today, Tarin? Of course, Rob Lobsters. Wow. Eva, yes. can you be my true chef for tonight? Yes, I can. Okay, <laughs> let's start with the ingredient for tonight. Rob Lobster, cut into half. 
Next, we will have corn and potato, half boiled. So do you need to add any salt? Like yes, salt and pepper will be fine. Just half boiled. Okay. Continue by butter. We have two kinds of butter over here. Normal butter as well as the garlic butter. You can get it anywhere from the supermarket. And also stocks. Basically, you can do any stock that you have at home. Fish stock, chicken stock. And today, I'm doing a short cut way. The, the water that I boil from the corn and so as the potato, this is the one I'm going to use. Oh, I didn't know you can use that. <laughs> okay. okay, followed by the some herbs. And also, this is actually the garlic and onion. Oregano. We have two kinds of paprika. One is sweet, one is smoke. More of a color as well. And lastly, will be salt and pepper. This to one? your taste. Yes. All right. And so of course, we yeah, we also have some lemon over here. Heat up the pans. Once it's heated up, first will be the butter. So well, this is your secret recipe, Kirby? Not really. This is the, why I've chosen this recipe is more because of the simplest way to actually cook. Uh, uh, remind myself also my last trip to Australia, as well as uh, uh, cooking time when we do a camper van. Actually, fresh ingredient from Australia is easiest to do it. And when you're in the cook, uh, simple kitchen, I would say simple kitchen, just one pan, you yeah. can do everything. So even the children can try this? Uh, of, course, like of, course, of course, of course, of course, of course. Wow, it so, smells amazing already. The butter, the yeah. scent is coming out. Yum. Not to worry when you mention about like uh, too much butter to go in. Don't forgetting we're only using butter over here, mm. and it's the main uh, uh, source of the gravy later. And wait a little bit while wow, the boil, and we get ready for our our main superstar for tonight. Oh wow! So speak. It's really huge, guys. I wish y'all can see the lobster in person right now. Ooh. It's like bigger than the palms of my hand. So Tervin is really handling this very well. I, have, I haven't cooked any lobster before, <laughs> so I'm learning from you. Very lucky to have lobsters. But usually I cook with some normal seafood. Lobster is the one that's more premium right now. And of course, all the winners are going to get one set each. So how long does it take for you to cook this lobster? Um, usually depends on the size. Of course, tonight the size over here is about 10 minutes overall. Okay. Because, um, like for example, the corn as well as the potato is actually pre-boiled, half-boiled already. We just put it in together. we flavoring some. So it looks quite simple. You just throw everything inside the pan. Yes. Okay. And next, then we will start with some of the spice. Wow. Okay, the always question asks how much or exactly. to put in. I know my grandma always say, uh, aga, aga, right? Ah. So this is the one that uh, up to your taste. Basically, this is the simplest way to cook it because it's nothing need to be uh, adjust according to your taste. Wow, the smell. I know this aga, aga measurement <laughs> is according to your liking, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, I really wish all of y'all can smell what we can smell in the studio right now. Mm. It smells amazing, the herbs. Is interacting with the heat and the butter, and you can see the lobster is slowly turning red. Wow. Okay. Okay, what we boil, then we will turn the lobsters. Whoa. Of course, pardon us, based on the stove over here in the studio, a little bit slow, but it's okay. So for me, you're a pro, huh? do you, how do you learn how to cook? Well, it's all by watching TVs and actually I do start to cook from young because like, you know, my parents are always out and uh, you have to settle your own for your lunch or dinner. Mm. Um, usually this is the way they learn and cook to the taste that you want. <laughs> so you're very independent since young, that's how you learn how to cook. Of course, it's one of my hobbies, cooking, baking at home. So this recipe is very useful when you, you know, doing circuit breaker period, you oh. can just cook at home. Oh, yeah, really? Yes, yeah. definitely. So okay, next... while it boil halfway, you can just add a little bit made on the stalks that we mentioned just now, just to prevent it from burn on the bottom. And the next secret, that I'm going to put in over here is the full lemon or any lemons with skin. You can just test it. You know what? This is what I learned from 
Chef Jenny of you. Oh, wow, okay. So <laughs> we still have another half of the uh, lemon. Okay. We squeeze the lime, uh, lemon juice at the end of the okay. session. Now it's the time for taste. Salt, salt and pepper. pepper. So today we have Chef Terwin to share with <laughs> us his secret recipe. And I can't wait to taste the lobster. Yeah. It smells amazing. For, for the salt, take note, depends on the butter that you get in. Sometimes you get the unsalted, sometimes ah, you actually okay. get the salted butter. Today we are using the unsalted, so I'm adding a little bit on the okay. uh, salt level. Lastly, this is a secret. What is this? I know this smell. Truffle. Yes. Truffle oil is a secret over here at the end. This is a little bit. Oh, wow. Wow, talking about this. So now we'll just... You put can. on the lid. Yes. So speaking of truffle, we have a truffle hunt in Western Australia. Uh -huh. Do you know that? Western Australia it has the it's the largest truffle producers in the southern hemisphere. So we will go to Manjimut right now. Let's see more. see here she's marked the ground yep so if i come in and just grab a handful of dirt hello we are back <laughs> we're back in singapore from the tremendous truffle hunt emma i have one question to ask i see the dogs swinging away do they just snap away the the truffle a very good question, Tervin. So in the past, traditionally, uh, pigs are used to mm. actually uh, hunt for truffle. However, a lot of the farmers have issues because the pig will end up eating the truffle. Ah. Therefore, a lot of the uh, Western Australian um, truffle growers train their dogs uh, to hunt for this and they use their nose to identify the distinct aromatic fungus mm. and then they are rewarded with a high value treat. Wow. So like I said, shared just now, Western Australia's emerging truffle industry has grown rapidly and is now the second largest producer of black truffles behind Europe and also the largest production in the southern hemisphere. Wow, well, very good. Yeah. So lots more food to go. Yeah, but before that, Terwin, um, are we going to send the recipe to our winners? Oh, yes. The, the lobster, when you see, I say aga aga, but not to worry. Chan brother have prepared a recipe the proper way. How much is the ingredients to send to you along to, uh, together with the lobster? Not to worry, okay? Yeah, so don't, for those who don't know how to prepare this dish, <laughs> um, our in house chef, Tervin, has prepared his special recipe and we're going to deliver the recipe together with the, the whole lobster. All the way to your home. <laughs> <laughs> now, Speaking of food, right? Yeah. So the Gomi Escape is formerly known as the Margaret River Gomi Escape. It is now known as the Western Australia Gomi Escape. It has transformed Western Australia into an epicurean hub of culinary delights where world-class chef meets the finest Australian produce mm. and award-winning wines and one-of-a-kind foodie delights. One year, I even got to meet Nigella Lawson. Oh. That is my favorite as well. But after you've seen my cooking, would you send submit my name for the competitions? Yeah, maybe next year, the next <laughs> Gomi Escape in Western Australia. <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> so um, must try in Perth. You know, when you visit Perth, you must try and must buy. So the first one is... Yes, I know, Apple Strudel. Correct, the popular Corica's Apple Strudel. Now, a lot of Singaporeans, when they go, right, they will tap out so many to bring back as a gift for their family and friends. And always buy over. You have to bag the strudels to keep this into the fridge can, cabin fridge. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure they're happy to help you to keep it in their freezer. Yep. So next is the Morish Nuts. Mm. Actually, um, the honey cake. <laughs> so the honey cake is very popular in Western Australia because it is made from um, honey that is uh, harvested in Western Australia. It's yummy. It is very yummy. It's very delicious and it's made out of honey. So the sweetness that you taste is not from sugar. It's, it's actually from natural. honey. Yeah. yeah. Next is the Morish nut. Have you tried this before, Tarin? Not really. So it's very popular because you can get it in uh, Sun Valley and ah. all that. And it comes in many um, sizes. So it's great for you to buy back as gifts for your yes. family and this friends. This is something new. Yeah. yeah. Me. And of course, the Mondo Yeah. 
it's and, still cheaper to get it from Australia, definitely. Yeah, right? it's definitely cheaper when you get it there from the local producers and growers. And of course, um, the famous Western Australia wine, uh, it is a unique purple color wine called Mastego. It's a proud Western Australian brand. They have created this unique blend of um, Sauvignon Blanc. I see, it's in purple. Huh? Yeah, it's, it's not the, the red wine type of color, I but see. it's purple in color. So it's first in the world and it's very unique. Can you smell something? Yes. Yeah, I think our lobster is cooking really soon. Oh. But before that, we come into a very exciting moment, the grand prize. That's right. The and grand remember prize. from the very beginning, we explained, you counted how many times of the quokka appeared throughout the show. And that was our first question. And Eva is going to tell us the second question. And you're going to put in your answer. Remember, under the answer column, the first answer is going to be the numbers of uh, cocas being so appear, as well as the second answer. You put together, post it up as much as you can. We will have one minute to go for it. And if you are ready, well, what will be the questions? Okay, the question is, listen carefully. Aside from Perth, name one out of the five other regions in Western Australia. So if you remember earlier, I shared that there are five regions in Perth. So name one of those except from Perth. I think we have to do it this way, except Perth, right? Correct. correct so correct. the others four regions, one minute start from now. So Tervin, what's the winner again for the grand prize? Well, let me repeat. The prize is actually five days Perth and wild seafood experience for two worth $3,500. Wow. Does it include any like flight tickets or hotel? Definitely. It includes return air tickets, four-night hotel accommodation, a return trip to Rottnest Island, as well as a cash and dine seafood cruise, the one that we've seen just now. Wow. So all the viewers joining us today, you are in, in a Lucky. good, good, good situation. You're in a good you know, you're in it for a treat. You stand a chance to win this five days Perth and Wild Seafood experience for two. $3,500, you know? Yeah, wow. wow. We have 19, 17 seconds to go. Wow, I think the answer is wow. around there. Yes. That's so good. <laughs> Only one winner for this, definitely. One winner, you get two person to go. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you. Let me see who will be the winner. Wow. So before we, we well, the admin sort out the winner yeah. before we announce it, shall I share the answer? Yes, of course. Okay. So as I shared yes. earlier, Western Australia has five regions. It is Destination Perth, Australia Southwest, Australia Coral Coast, Australia Golden Outback, and Australia Northwest. So I see a lot of you have answered Coral Coast. That is one of the right answer. Yeah. Wow. We have the winner here. And the winner is... Kelly Chu. Congratulations. You win yourself a five-day proof and wow seafood experience for two worth $3,500. Congratulations, Kelly. I smell something. Whoa. Here we go. The lobster is ready to serve, but last squeeze of them. Oh. <laughs> wow, it smells amazing, guys. I, I wish that all of you are here with me. You can, you know, in the studio, you can see how amazing this lobster tastes and, and smell. Yes, of course. Once again, thank you very much for Tourism Western Australia and Eva. Thank you for having me, Tervit, and to all the viewers at home. We hope that you have learned a thing or two about Western Australia and plan your next trip soon. Yes, and we will see you in Western, Western Australia. Australia.